Hi, this is Risa with Inconvenient Interviews with Risa and Hello Giggles. Did you know that it was National Handbag Day? Nobody told me until today when Mary Lai called me and was like, come to my showroom. Let's make some handbags with Josie Marin. And I was like, it sounds really fun. Josie is a supermodel. She's a mother. She has her own cosmetics line and it's everything is natural and green. So you would think she would look exhausted, but she actually looks better rested than I do. Inconvenient Interviews. Hi, Josie. Hi. How's it going? It's going amazing. I mean, ha National Handbag Day. So what are we making today, Mary? We're going to make this makeup pouch, and we're using natural um, recycled leathers, and then we have this beautiful cork. This material has, like, gold speckles, Love it. and it goes with Josie's oh. whole makeup line. So this is what we're going to create in an hour. Okay, do you think that we'll be able to do it, Josie? We're magicians. It, it's totally possible. Chicological is what I call this, and chicological magic is happening right now. Do your daughters have handbags, or are they still too young? They definitely have, like, every handbag ever made. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't a handbag kind of girl, but somehow they turned out to be. Yeah. You and your mom's a supermodel. You just, like, become glamorous at an earlier age. You were really scary in Van Helsing. It's kind of things nightmares are made of. Was that makeup all natural argan oil? That was before my um, own line, and uh, I don't think it was very natural. But it was naturally the blood and the, the rawness was coming naturally. Blood is a natural thing. <laughs> there we go. So your mom is crafty, though. Like, sh sh yeah, she makes everything, everything, everything. She even takes old cashmere sweaters and she sews them little parts into our crotches, like our G our pants crotches. She, she sews them into your crotches. Yeah, <laughs> our crotches into the pants crotches so that you're soft and cozy everywhere all the time and she really wants us to be like wrapped in cashmere all the time. She's, she's very cozy, crafty. That's incredible. Also, while you were saying that, I don't know if I'm losing my mind, but I thought you threw in the word argan oil. I think you were like, and she in an argan oil puts it in her crotches. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I misheard that. <laughs> you did. So is it hard like, to live up to the hype of being a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model? Because that's sort of like this really big thing. And then, it, is it hard? As I think that's, no, it's not because I just don't take it very seriously. Strike me as someone who always like, you're always like smiling. You're like, I'm here to have fun. And I don't really care that much if this goes well or not because I'm having my life experience. Yes, exactly. If you're serious, chill out, make a handbag and stop taking yourself so seriously. You're going to have a way better life. Mary, what's the most difficult handbag you've ever made? Like the tricky? You know what? I think the one that I just made recently, I have to show you is this fringe bag and it was very difficult. Oh, it's so pretty. Because each one I cut by hand with that knife um, and then I had to sew this on and then it's got the fur and all these pockets. And you've actually made a bag out of hair, like a human hair, yeah. Yes, I did. I showed recently before. Human hair. You're not leaving today. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, wait, wait, let me, let me put I would run. <laughs> It's called Blue Steel with human hair. With warrior inv infused. Wouldn't it be cool if there was head, like, bangs, pieces that were, like, stylish and cool, and then you could, they even had, like, headbands. I, I would wear those for my interview. Yeah, I want to have bangs, that. like, on Fridays, not yes. on Mondays. So, I, like, even bangs. The way you wore before, like she wants head. bangs on Fridays, not Mondays. <laughs> Obviously. Every Monday, I'm like, I hate these bangs. Get rid of them. And, the, and weekend, I'm like, bangs. I want my bangs, and I want some studs, studs on, on my bangs. Have you ever had bangs? Studs on your bangs. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Josie, that scene that you have in The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio, arguably the sexiest scene in the movie, brings back such good memories. How did you stay so composed? Because you did such a good job of being like, I'm getting a little hot and heavy, but I'm staying cool and calm. It was a very cool moment. <laughs> I feel like there's more to that story. Yeah, I'll never so much tell. more and I'll never tell, but it was so cool. If I've learned anything from America's Next Top Model, it's that sometimes it's more challenging if you're not a super tall supermodel, like Kate Moss. So you're sort of in the ranks of Kate Moss. Was that challenging for you career-wise? Like, was it like, yo, shorty? 
I mean, I think it was um, actually, I, mean, I think, you know, ignorance is bliss. I just kind of like was like, hey, guys, what's up? And they were like, OK, let's hire her. <laughs> so I didn't even really pay attention. My butt's kind of big for a model. Like a most depressing <laughs> sentence. OK, so your butt is big for a model. I know. And, it, you know, I like it, so. But you, you so were just like comment. They'd be like, whoa, J-Lo. Like, what? You know, what's wrong? The fashion world sounds incredible. Sometimes, you know, with Maybelline, um, they ha we had hand models, and it, they looked like mine in the ads, but they weren't really mine. And a girl would sit behind me, and I'd be sitting, you know, on a table, and the photographer would be there. Maybelline. Maybelline. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> you can make all different kinds of bags. You could have double holes. And then you go around the corner. La, She's la, whistling la, while she works. La, la, like, what advice would you have for any ladies who are like, I want to start my own business, but I'm really intimidated? I think something that's really important is uh, to really get connected to why you would do anything. Because that will actually connect you to what you probably are here on this planet to actually do and then what you put out and what you create for people and sell and you know have a business around will be so much more meaningful to you and actually resonate with the world so powerfully because they can tell when people are putting out what yeah. their what their real truth is so when people say like follow your bliss out of all the careers do you feel like this like your makeup line has been the most following your bliss it's been an interesting path. I mean, it's it, you know, I would never have thought it would be makeup that would be following my bliss, but for me, it's beauty. It's about creating beautiful things and being in my essence. And so I love creating anything, as you can see. We just created like 50 million. You literally made like 10 pieces. <laughs> You're like, how about a headband and then like a tube top and then yeah. some shoelaces? So putting the creative spirit plus beautiful things and like sensual, sensory delight that word delight. I think it's good to find delight in your work too. Okay, this your is so is cool. So in pretty. my bag. And then you have to put the zipper. What should we put in it? Jewels. Uh, jewels and makeup and art. Candy. Candy. Yay! We love it. This is the best makeup bag I've ever had. It's beautiful. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Josie. This is beautiful. Thank and you. Everyone should buy Josie's makeup because it actually is so nice and I have tried it. I always go to Sephora and I use the samples and until the people yell at me to leave, I'll just take as much as I can. You can find it with a natural <laughs> makeup. You can look like Josie or sort of a little bit like her. You can use her makeup. Josie-ish. You can Josify your look. <laughs> this is Risa with Inconvenient Interviews and Hello Giggles. Bye Josie. Peace. Hey, it's